Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back again with a very encouraging word that's going to put a big smile on your face. And this is to also answer to those people who think there's only one woman that's going to be the bride of Christ, okay? Because I know this woman here is from the Lord. But remember, we do all prophesy. We see in part and we prophesy in part. Nobody gets the whole picture. But this uh, Victoria Ang, uh, I've never gotten a check in my spirit on her. This She titled this, or maybe the Lord did, It is at the door with three exclamation marks. And it, let me go over here so... I can blow this up. There we go. And it's a dream. And the Holy Spirit. She puts dream, comma, Holy Spirit. I, uh, probably because with the interpretation, he's in it. Okay. Posted by Victoria Ang on September 4th, 2021. Outpouring of the living waters of the Holy Spirit. That's right. I forgot about that title. All right, it is at the door. Now, this is so cool. God has shown several of us parts or told us about parts of our mansions that we're going to go to. Okay, well, listen to this. Prophetic dream. The Lord used to give me prophetic dreams all the time. But it's been a while now since I've had one. So this dream is very symbolic in more ways than one. In the dream, I found myself inside a mansion that I was made known I was going to live. There were a few workers in the mansion that were doing last minute work to make everything ready. Excuse me, I have an itch. To make every, everything ready to move in. There was an unknown man, and she put in parentheses, God, that was overseeing all the work being done. In the dream, I was so in love with this man, I wanted to ask him to marry me. See, I... I know it's proper and fine to call Jesus God, but when I, this is me talking now, not her. I'll get on with that in a minute. When I say God, if I saw God in a dream, to me, that's the Father. Jesus is the Son, although Jesus said, I and the Father are one. I'm in the Father and the Father is in me. So you can certainly call him God because Jesus is God. So anyway. Uh, I just do that. I, just in case any of y'all are like me and think of God as the Father only. He's not. <laughs> I just always refer to Father as God or Abba. Alright, so she's wanting to ask Jesus to marry, marry her. She goes on to say, This mansion was so massive. The man, God, took me by the front door. In the front room, as you entered the mansion, was a massive waterfall. Oh, I thought, oh, that would be so awesome. It's a, with a huge pool at the base of the waterfall. In the dream, I remember thinking, I couldn't wait to submerge myself in the pool. The water fall was not yet turned on but was all set to start <sighs> that's just so cool that is why the man god took me to that room we stood there side by side to watch the waterfall begin to flow oh so he was turning it on it's getting the getting her mansion ready the men are putting on the final touches. And now God or Jesus turns on the water. Now, and the dream ended as it started flowing. All right. Now, I am reading this off of 444 Prophecy News, 
Remember, I have to say it again. If you go there just to be reading all the prophecies, half of them are gonna they're gonna confuse you if you do not have the gift of discernment and the Holy Spirit indwelled in you, where you can tell which ones are really of the Lord and which ones are from their flesh, or even worse, from a demon. All right, so. But that's where I'm reading it from, so I have to tell you that. All right, the interpretation. All glory to God. I have the gift of dream and vision interpretation. As I was praying on this dream and seeking the Lord, I went outside to check on my animals. And there was a white feather sitting by the door. I've heard of other people get white feathers when God... It's just winking, you know, it's like God's giving them a little smile, a little grin, like, I love you, sweetie, I love you, daughter, you know, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, I, um, I actually have found what looked like a little piece of a white feather, but I didn't know if it was from God or, or from that goose that hangs on my front door. It had, I bought a little bag of real white feathers and glued all around it. To dress it up a little bit because it's like 43 years old now no not that old my daughter's 43 she made it when she was a brownie girl scout well the mothers and fathers did a lot of the work but anyway all right so here's the interpretation <coughs> and my cough is much better okay the workers in the mansion represent those that will be doing the harvest work. I was surprised about that one. The harvest work. That's the first fruits who go back, have to go back in time into the earth to harvest those left behind. Okay, those working hard for God's kingdom. Those that are his remnant bride. Last minute touches are being finalized. So there will be an outpouring of the living.